I have completely reset the entire NFL. And yes, that means every single player is a zero overall. And I'm not even kidding. Even the free agents are a zero overall. But obviously, our goal is to try to rebuild a random franchise into a Super Bowl winner within five years. And if any of you guys want to try out this challenge on your own, then you can go ahead and download it from the community files. Oh, and by the way, I'm also doing my own little version of this zero overall franchise, except this time it involves some users, and I do that on my other channel, which is known as Taunt or Taunt Live. But I guess with all of that being said, if you're new here, consider subscribing, drop a like, and let's go ahead and get right into the video. All right, so guys, the first thing we must do is select a random team to rebuild now i'm probably going to go ahead and ask siri to pick a random number so that i don't cheat and pick a team with like two first round picks hey siri pick a random number between 1 and 32 it's 28 well i hope you guys heard that because she ended up picking number 28 so let's start right here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 okay we landed on the detroit lions interesting little team here but I'm pretty sure that the Lions have all of their draft picks, which us all is going to come down to in season number one. Well, actually, technically, I'm not going to count this as season number one of our rebuild. But yeah, let's just go ahead and take a look at all of their draft picks. Hopefully, they have every single thing. Okay, we have an extra third round pick. Ooh, but we are missing a fourth, so that's just like a substitute pick right there. Other than that, though, it looks like we have every single one of our picks. Time to go ahead and sim to the regular season. And also, I'm going to be banning myself from making any trades here number one especially for draft picks because i feel like that could be a very easy way in order for us to win a championship like year number one or two nothing to really do in season number one however i want to see how these zero overall teams play so let's go ahead and jump into one game real quick okay we have the opening kickoff and i'm not expecting anything too wild here let's see if we can kick it nope it goes straight out of bounds okay we're starting on defense they have blaine gabbert starting and oh my gosh everybody is so slow they throw it to pacheco we get a big hit stick and a fumble we get the ball oh my gosh just like that and it looks like we might be taking over oh wait never mind booth review that means that they're gonna end up having possession yeah dude imagine sitting here and trying to like actually play out a full season of this i would not be able to hopefully we can get a stop right here so we can go ahead and check out the offensive side of the ball because yeah the defensively it's not too much fun another sack yep blaine gabbert go down let's take a look at this punt the kickoff was not great and the punt travels like five yards fair catch that Teddy Bridgewater in the game, but let's hand it off to Jameer Gibbs, follow the blockers, and we're so freaking slow. We break out of that tackle, gain only one yard. Screw it, let's test our luck and actually just go deep. Let's bomb this one away. Okay, we might be fitting that one in there, but he drops it just like that. Okay, that's enough. I can't play the rest of this. We gotta head out of here, and let's get back to the rebuild. Okay, and like I said, this first year isn't gonna count since everybody in the league is a zero overall. So we might as well sim to the Super Bowl. Let's see what happened throughout the season. And yeah, not too much to show right here in season number one, but I'll see you guys in like two seconds. Ooh, it looks like the whole NFC North actually was like pretty close. 10 and seven Packers, nine and eight Vikings. We're sitting there in third place at nine and eight as well then the bears are eight and nine it does look like the super bowl is between the vikings and the jaguars so nfc north representative right there let's view the yearly awards though oh my gosh mvp was nicholas moreau we got some weird mvps barrington wade what is going on deontay banks rashad penny what about coach of the year robert sala zach taylor D'Amico ryan's oh what is this dan campbell's right there at number six afc offensive player of the year yeah it's just gonna look like a bunch of randoms well not a bunch of randoms like drake london's on here chris alave's on here i'm really intrigued on what the stats are looking like and oh my goodness teddy bridgewater eight touchdowns to 34 interceptions it's actually a trend across the league cooper rush 16 touchdowns 63 interceptions tim boyle through 55 yeah all of these guys pretty much suck but what else can you expect from zero overalls what about rushing wise okay tyler algier almost had a thousand yards on the ground but no 1000 yard rusher in the nfl kind of uh, a little bit weird seeing these stats receiving wise we only had one wide receiver crack 1000 yards we had another couple that were pretty close drake london had the most touchdowns at nine zay jones behind that brandon powell seven as well but what about sacks who gave up the most sacks teron armstead actually just gave up two sacks 
Defensively, oh my gosh, Isaiah McDuffie, 156 tackles. Oh, Jermaine Pratt represents Cincinnati, 149. Derek Barnes represent as well, 141. Sack leader was Will McDonald. He had two of the sacks. And then interceptions, Nicholas Moreau won the MVP, so he has 13 interceptions on the year. Denzel Perriman had 12. Eddie Jackson had 12 as well. What about the kicking game? Okay, we had some actual made field goals. Don't know how. What was the longest one? 44 yards. How did he end up making a 44 yard field goal? Enough looking at the stats. I told you guys it was going to be very weird. I've never done this. Uh, might as well just go ahead and let's go re-sign players, which we're not actually going to re-sign them. We're just going to let them walk. Might as well start the draft because that's going to be the most exciting thing throughout this rebuild. And we have pick number 15. Okay, I'll take it. Looks like the Cowboys are sitting here at pick number one. I don't even know anything about this draft class. Who's going to go? It's a right in, but let's just go ahead, send to our user pick, and take a look at all the talent that's left there on the board. And like I said, I would like to trade this pick and add as much talent as possible, but year number one, well, this doesn't technically count as year number one, but I don't want to make any trades because I feel like that would be just too much cheating. We could take a quarterback, but I feel like any of these quarterbacks is fine. But we at least need to grab one. So maybe in the second round, we can take a chance on like one guy. I don't know. Maybe Adam or something. Tucker K if they're still there. But let's try to get like a playmaker. Maybe Will Killings. He's a nice looking running back prospect. Solid speed. Deion Samuel does not look bad. And he's pretty fast. 4-3. Dude, honestly, taking a fast guy right here to give to our cornerback. The league's not going to have that much of a secondary as well. So I'm thinking this might be the guy. I'm going to go ahead and draft him. He's normal, but 94 speed, 97 acceleration. Yo, we got a speedster in year number one. Okay, this might be crazy, but I feel like this is a very solid position to go after. Let's go ahead, add Deion Samuel. Yo, he's going to be blown by everybody in the league. Yo, round number two, Christopher Hutchinson's still here. And look at this. He is also a speedster, the fastest quarterback in this class. Elite speed, elite jumping elite change of direction elite acceleration great strength and great throw power let's just go ahead and pair these speedsters up bro this is gonna be insane and he's a hidden development 91 speed 91 acceleration we're about to have one of the fastest teams ever and that's gonna help out whenever all these guys are zero overalls so we do have two selections here in the third round and i kind of feel like getting a big boy up front a pass block i don't know if it's really gonna help because the rest of the offensive line's gonna be trashy then we might as well do this so let's bring reed griffin he is also hidden development that is what i love to see but right now we got three offensive weapons it might be time to start off on the defense now six four power rusher though a push right up the middle wouldn't be that bad let's go ahead and take him and he's also hidden 92 strength 70 speed Yo, we're drafting some dogs in this first ever draft. I kind of don't think I can pass up on this guy. He's a tight end. Colin Whitaker, 6'4", vertical threat. He has great speed, good jumping. He's solid in a lot of things, elite strength. He's like a pass catcher and an offensive lineman combined. So that's a two for one. Might as well go ahead and take him. He's normal development, but hey, it all helps. I think we're going to need a middle linebacker roaming across the field, making a whole bunch of tackles. So might as well we'll go with Kendall Pierce. Also, he is the fastest guy in this class class so why not go ahead and take him 87 speed now i am gonna allow myself to pick up some undrafted free agents because if we go into the year with this team it's not gonna be so great uh Dwayne presley i guess welcome to the team my guy 89 speed not bad i don't know about wearing the number 20 though that looks like barry sanders number and hopefully you're the next barry sanders but hey you never know this is what our entire draft class ended up looking like, and I love our first couple of picks. The wide receiver was a 75 overall. The hidden quarterback is a 71. The defensive tackle is also a 72 overall. Tight ends a 66, 63 for the middle linebacker, and a 65 for the running back. All very good positions and will help out. I love our wide receiver and quarterback combination because both of them are just so insanely fast and are going to tear it up the first season. Now, so we can make it fair, I'm only going to allow myself to pick up like five undrafted drafted free agents first one being jeff foster we need a punter this is going to give us insane field position whenever we need it we're like backed up at our 25 and we need a punt let's go ahead and do that also you know we're gonna need a kicker out here kicking these bombs for field goals field goals are points man this is gonna be our second free agent pickup and dude we definitely need some secondary so might as well pick up cameron bass Knight. he's a really fast corner should be able to shut down one side of the ball also we kind of need safety help so might as well pick up this guy and look how much it's 12.1 million dollars like that's insane i'm kind of 
of thinking that we need to get another weapon here in order to become an explosive offense. And also, look at this. He's 94 speed as well. Bro, this miss makes too much sense. Might as well add him to the team for $17.6 million. This looks to be the squad for season number one. We got our two speedsters on the edge, both having 94 speed. We got a nice little running back. Our quarterback also has 91 speed. Don't really know why our center is playing left guard, but screw it. At least he's on the offensive line. And then we have a tight end who should help out in blocking as well and receiving. Now, defensively, yo, there's still a lot of holes on this team, but we do have a middle linebacker, a defensive tackle, so at least we could pressure the quarterback, one corner and one strong safety. And for special teams, we have a punter and kicker. For our season goal, I'm thinking maybe a solid seven wins. I don't really know how this team is gonna perform. We should have a high-flying offense, but the defensive side of the ball is not great at all. However, this is officially gonna be the start of the challenge that was our first draft that first season didn't count now the challenge officially starts right here we have five seasons in order to build the team and i can trade in this next draft but before we start talking about the draft let's go ahead sim to mid-season and see how the team is doing all right lions fans we might fuck around and win the first season of this we are five and two second in the division we'll tied for second well, actually tied for first. I don't know what I'm talking about. Huge divisional matchup this week against the Packers. Before we sim any more, let's take a look at these stats. Nine touchdowns to six interceptions. Kind of interesting. He is star development, but hey, I'll take it. Yo, this looks like to be our franchise quarterback for the year. Dwayne Presley at 619 for four touchdowns. Christopher Hutchins at four touchdowns as well with also 400 rushing yards, a dual threat on the ground and on the air. Deion Samuel, he's going crazy as well. 434. I mean, Keith Hodges, I was expecting a lot more from you, but I guess it's all right. How's the defense looking? Are we getting any sacks? Donovan McBean, five sacks. All right, I'll take that. Strong safety also has one sack and he has five interceptions. The corner has has four our middle linebacker has three and then some random corners for us have a couple of interceptions yo what is going on in the kicking game how are we three and eight grayson mcmillan dude you gotta step it up on these field goals you're kind of accurate on the extra points but the field goals bro you're kind of costing us my guy and punter jeff foster yeah he's put in that work also it kind of looks like we have some of these guys to re-sign i don't really know if i want to go ahead and re-sign these guys now let's go ahead and just sim to the playoffs let's see if we make it if we don't make it i'm gonna be very disappointed but it looks like we're gonna hit our goal of seven wins and just like that it looks like we are here in the playoffs again we were tied for first in the division we are taking on the nine and eight rams this is like real life bro lions taking on rams i guess we just have to go ahead and leave it up to the madden sim to see if we advance but we better advance though i don't want to get bounced in the first round and we end up advancing just like like that I will take it however look who we just ran into the 12 and 5 Green Bay Packers this is probably honestly gonna be a slugfest between us I don't know they have an incredible offense and also I guess a pretty good defense as well ranked number eight this might be a tough one for us but you know what I have hope in our quarterback and our star receivers let's see if we can advance to the conference championship please EA no we lost by one freaking point 17 to 16 you're number one that's not bad you're losing by one point to a division rival that kind of hurts but hey we will be back i promise you that Deion samuel is only a star our left guard well our center actually is only a star as well so is our quarterback running back didn't really do too much let's look at the defensive side of the thing mcbean all right you're a star and our middle linebacker oh my gosh everybody on our defense went up to a star well all the guys that i drafted went up to a star i will take that what does the yearly awards look like let's take a look do we have anybody on this list hutchins was 10th on the list how about coach of the year we were actually third let's go i will take it all right but might as well just go ahead and advance to free agency let's see if we can pick up anybody on a cheap deal wait hold on i don't even know what i'm talking about i didn't even show the stats for our guys hutchins had 2,000 passing yards 19 touchdowns eight interceptions rushing wise we had a 1500 yard receiver and oh my gosh hutchins almost had a thousand yards on the ground as well Deion samuel oh would have hoped that you got like a thousand receiving yards but almost a thousand just a a little bit off defensively oh my gosh looks like mcbean 12 and a half sacks i will take that mcbean and the secondary went crazy especially this corner kicker he did a little bit better 12 for 19 in the second half i don't know what was going on the first half of the year but yeah that's the stats let's go ahead now and actually go to the free agency point we have a lot of money to spend 131 million 
Ryan. Let's go see what these guys are asking for. Quarterback? Yeah, don't we don't really need a quarterback. Any running backs? Nope, not any running backs. We got some fullbacks on here. Keith Hodges. I didn't realize he went up to a 96 speed, but I'm not paying him $133 million, bro. You got me effed up if you think I'm doing that. Tight end, though. He's went 86, but hey, this is still... We can come out with a double tight end attack. Five years? Hey, maybe we can lowball him. There was no one else offering. Maybe three years. We have the money. Might as well offer him for three years, right? Yo, oh my goodness. There is this right tackle who has superstar. I kind of feel like I have to get him, bro. I have to go ahead and get this guy. We're spending a lot of money, but in the long run, I'm going to offer him like a shit ton of money because having this guy, this is like a pillar. This is what we need. This is what we actually need for the team. And we are tied. Wow. I don't think we're going to get him though. I was not expecting to spend money like this. Oh my gosh. Maybe two years, dude. I'll give you a two year deal if you can go ahead and accept this one. Let's see. Okay, total strength. As long as I'm the only one offering, I will take it. But these are the three guys that we have signed for year number one. Let's go see. Let's go ahead and see if they want to uh, accept the offer. Don't know if they signed. And yes, we signed. We got the right tackle. I will take the right tackle. We gave him a ton of money. And so did the right end. He came to the squad. But these guys are high development. We need that. That's very very key for us plus we don't have to worry about signing anybody long term for like a very long time in these draft classes and everything looks like we might have also gotten the tight end yes we did we have 48.8 million cap let's just stop spending money right there let's just stop spending money because before we go like absolutely broke so we actually have the draft here let's see where we're drafting at probably late 20s 27 just trying to really acquire as much talent as possible in this draft class you know what i might go ahead and take this trade from jacksonville we get four draft picks in this class and then one in the next class which is in the seventh round but hey, that's still going to be very very crucial for us and we're only trading a couple picks back bro we're going the second round at pick number seven but hey i'll go ahead and accept that trade all freaking day i think i kind of want to solidify the offensive line so let's go ahead with this left tackle jalen kennedy was projected in the first or second round he's hidden so yo we got our left tackle right tackle and center of the future i will take that now we just need our guards ty randolph kind of fits our scheme let's see if we get another hidden yes we do i will take this this guy our defensive line is looking like an absolute unit out here quentin rutherford kind of fits what we're running to do we want a really fast defense has good speed elite change of direction great acceleration might as well take this guy out outside linebacker 83 speed but he kind of just fits what i want like my vision for the defensive side of the ball you think we can go with another running back you know we need some depth out here if we're gonna look to rush the ball he has a catching. This is kind of like our maybe third down back we can add to the squad. Javante Shepard. He's very fast. 90 speed, 92 acceleration. But I just kind of feels, it just feels like, you know, we get our thunder and lightning now. I think this cornerback from Purdue might be too good to pass up. 446 is not bad at all speed wise, but we need another man. We kind of got our first lockdown corner, but I'll take this as our second corner. 90 speed, 94 acceleration. We love this speed over here on this defense. Again, why not add another speedster for this defense? 4-5-5 speed. Third fastest middle linebacker in this class. 88 speed, 90 acceleration. Yo, we got some ball hawks, bro. We got some ball hawks and some guys on this defensive side of the ball. I'm really liking this. This guy just keeps on falling. He's Justin Ruiz. He was projected round three to four. I think it's like round six right now. He has great speed. He runs 4-4. Might, I don't even know what's wrong with him. His strength is not there, but honestly kind of looks like a steal right right here normal development but still 93 speed 98 acceleration how did this guy fall looks like sterling freeman is falling as well has great speed marginal acceleration but hey i'll still take this as our cornerback three dude 93 speed and 88 acceleration okay this guy's falling as well Devonte swinton we kind of need a free safety has poor speed but honestly that doesn't really matter right now good run supporting guy and we struggled with the run let's take him 82 speed Kind of yucky to look at, but guys, you got to think about this. There's still going to be some zero overalls on a lot of these teams. This looks to be our final pick of the draft. Might as well take a guard. Let's get a left one. I will take it. 62 speed. Nothing crazy. 88 strength, though. I like that. This was mainly a defensive draft for us. Ooh, okay. Draft recap. 72 left tackle. The left end was a 72 as well. Ooh, that left outside linebacker was a 61. Kind of a whiff from us. 66 halfback. 68 corner. 64 middle linebacker. 
some nice steals right here. 70 Justin Ruiz and 70 overall Sterling Freeman. Free safety was a 62 and then a 64 left guard. I'll take a 64 there at the 7th. Okay, so it looks like this is the offensive side of the ball for us. Still don't know why it doesn't put our center at starting center. That's kind of weird to me. But hey, I guess our center is not... We just don't have that position filled out yet. We have another weapon. This time, this guy is just going to stay here for... Like, he can actually stay here. But we did add a tight end as well in free agency. Liking the offensive line and how that's coming together. Got our one-two punch at the running back position. Now, defensively, we basically got everything filled out except that right outside linebacker. But again, really liking how this is coming together and special teams that is like very good as well for us i don't think i'm gonna sign any of the uh, undrafted free agents because i think maybe that'll put us over the edge we are already one of the better teams in the league oh it looks like the cardinals are actually kind of a filled out team a little bit better than us all around the board now for the season i guess we can kind of go make playoffs because that's what i expect from our team might be able to make some noise however i guess we just might as well this is the start of season number two for us our first well our second official season but let's just send to the mid-season point and i will see you guys and i guess maybe three seconds well here we are at the midpoint of the season we are sitting at a record of five and one but somehow the packers are always ahead of us Honestly, though, the team hasn't been doing too bad. Look at Christopher Hutchins. 12 touchdowns to one interception. I'm liking how the two-head... Well, it's basically a three-head attack, actually. Because our first string running back could hurt you, or Christopher could hurt you, or the third down back, Javante Shepard, could come in and do some damage. However, he's only averaging 2.7 yards a carry. We still got the speedsters, Deion Samuel, Justin Ruiz, Colin Whitaker, and John Ward combining for four touchdowns each. But yeah, we kind of really need a third and fourth wide receiver so we can start spreading teams out. Defensively, Kendall Pierce leading the team in tackles with 39. Ty Randolph, the rookie, left in leading the team in sacks with five. Mick Bean is right behind him with two. Then Tavon Beard is behind him with one sack. Those are all the guys that have sacks. Obviously, we are five and one. Just can't get ahead of the Packers though, but I might have a plan for this next draft how to do so. Just maybe, I don't know, just in case there's not anyone crazy on the board, I might have a plan. However, I guess all we have to do is sim to playoffs. Hopefully we can make it. We should make it, dude. We're five and one. Last time we did this, we were five and two and went 12 and five. Oh, wow. We went 10 and seven. The Packers went 16 and one. Yo, how did we drop? There must have been an injury. I, I don't know. There, there has to be an injury. How did we drop overalls? What is going on? Please tell me that our quarterback did not get injured. It looks like you played almost every single game. Yeah, I'm not really sure what happened. You missed actually week seven. Maybe on the defensive side, somebody got hurt. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of curious. How did we start off the year at like a 70 something, but we went back down to a 60? I'm not really sure. Something crazy must have happened, but we should end up beating the Saints here, guys. They are 9-8. and eight. We are 10-7. and seven. I don't even know what happened. What happened? It looks like our defenses did really good. 10th, but our offense finished 25th. Yo, someone must have gotten hurt on the offense. It had to have been somebody. But let's go ahead, please. We got our pieces back. I think we should be able to win in the first round. And we take a loss. 21-14. to 14, I swear. I'm not sure. This was kind of a setback, a little bit weird. I don't really know what happened. Looks like we collapsed at the end of the year, but guess what, guys? We can always make some improvements. Maybe adding a third wide receiver is what could get us to the promised land, and we actually need to get an offensive lineman. Now, defensively, ooh, Devon and Swinton, he went up to a star, and then our cornerback went up to superstar. But yeah, I I'm not really sure. We just collapsed late season. I, I don't know how to really explain that, come up with an excuse. It just happened. I, I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm in shock right now. I can't believe it. Doesn't really look like any of our players came close to winning awards. I'm not really sure. Running back, no. Receiver, no. O-line, okay. Maybe we had only one guy though. Oh my gosh. Defensively, defensive corners. I don't know. Kicker, we had a second best kicker. Okay, we'll take it. Did Christopher have like a collapse? I'm not really sure. Look at this. 23 touchdowns, five interceptions. He did good. He played in all 17 games. Huh. Someone, someone must have gotten injured. This is where we're going to find out. Looks like 
our starting running back got injured for like three games. Dude, I'm not really sure what the problem was. Maybe we just got like a major setback. Offensive line? No, everybody played. Ooh, it looks like Ty Randolph finished with 12 sacks. I will take that from my guy, the rookie as well. Don't know how he didn't get a development upgrade. Four for Cameron Bass Knight. Okay, guys, let's go take a look to see if there's any free agents that we could sign. Dude, look at what these quarterbacks are asking for. $420 million. Yo, what is the market right now? This shit is so freaking crashed. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be actually bringing in anybody this offseason. Might as well just go ahead and head over to the draft. We spent money last offseason. Maybe there'll be better free agents this upcoming offseason. But yeah, might as well just skip to the draft. Maybe actually use our first round pick this year. Sitting here at pick number 21. What position do we really want to take here? Honestly, we could go with another really quick wide receiver. This guy runs 4-3. Elijah Clinton, not bad, honestly. Could go there. We could go oh, tight end. I mean, but we already have two tight ends. Maybe offensive line as well. Imani Sneed does not look bad at all. Some of these edge rushers look good. The outside linebackers look really, really good. Cornerback looks good as well. But maybe, maybe, guys, we just need to add some more juice to the offense. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I mean, there's a lot of offensive wide receiver talent here. A catch and traffic, B release. Route running needs to be a little bit better. Solid speed, elite jumping. Yo, if this guy, maybe if he's there in this, he's not going to be there in the second. He can't be, right? He just literally can't be this guy's 5'9 bro we might have to trade up for nick franklin we might have to and take another position that's what i'm thinking as of right now dude i'm thinking we kind of go with another corner and just solidify the other side of the uh of the secondary 438 as well we can go ahead and trade up. He's six foot. Let's just go ahead and take this guy. Hidden 93 speed, 91 acceleration. Okay, the secondary is like sure fired. It's on lock right now. We don't have to pay any more attention to it. Dude, we just gave up a whole bunch in order to move up like 20 spots. Please, Franklin, I, I need you. The wide receivers started getting off the board. Please, dude, Nick Franklin, do not make me regret this. You're from North Carolina. You look like a beast. Please be a stud, 89 speed, 91 acceleration, hidden development. That's what I love to see. And we got a 6-5 big target for our quarterback Hutchins to throw to. Dude, I really don't understand. This is the third round. Why are these crazy corners falling to us? I guess I'll take them. Maybe we can move them to, I don't know. Maybe he might be a trade piece for us, but here in the third round to get that, uh, we might have to take a chance on this tackle right here. Maybe move him into guard. Terrence Phillips, not the fastest type of guy, but if we move you inside, it wouldn't really matter too much. Adding another solid linebacker wouldn't be that bad. This actually fills out our entire linebacking core for us. So at least we got that, but we do have two seventh round picks. Maybe add some more depth at receiver, or I don't know, maybe take a best player available. And yo, guys, I don't know what's going on. Why is this guy falling? He's 6'4 corner. I was thinking about drafting him in the first round. Yo, another corner. I mean, might as well, dude. 6'4 looks insane. 91 speed, 95 acceleration. I don't know why this guy's dropping. But hey, I'll take another corner. Yo, this might be trade bait or we might let some guys walk. I don't even know. Why did this guy drop 4-3 speed? Spencer Rowe. Let's take another wide receiver. We were going to take one anyways. 94 speed. Yo, we're filling up in the secondary and I mean at wide receiver as well. Yo, this was a crazy draft class. Look at this. 76, 77, 74. Then in the middle rounds, it was kind of weird. But look at these later rounds. 76 and a 75? Bro, why did these guys fall to the seventh round? I just don't even understand. But actually, let's move this right tackle to, um, let's move him to right guard. Yo, we just upgraded majorly in the secondary and at the wide receiver. We might have some trade pieces. We might just keep these guys, but we basically don't have to worry about those positions anymore. So we have every position here. Maybe some more offensive line depth. Tight ends are nice. Receiving core is just as beautiful. I love to look at that. Running backs, we have two nice running backs. No backup quarterbacks, so if he gets injured, that's going to be, like, really bad. And look at these corners, bro. Look at these freaking corners. Let's go ahead and move him up, though. He's going to be starting for us. But, man, I mean, we might as well maybe move one of these guys to uh, safety. Maybe Clark. Who's the who's the really tall corner? 6'4". Yeah, let's just move you to safety, bro. You can be the ball-hawking free safety that we need. Imagine a 6'4 free safety. He's a 76 overall. I'll take that for the secondary. Our linebacker core is... It's kind of mid, to be honest. Not very, like, crazy. I'll take it, though. I'll take it. Secondary looks like it's filled out. We don't have to worry about it. Defensive line looks like it's pretty good. Maybe it's just linebackers and some more offensive lines, such as, like, guards. 
Maybe we can actually take another tight end or something. And then maybe like a cool running back maybe? I don't know, dude. We have a lot of options. Okay, guys, for season number three, we have to make the playoffs again. We can't have another collapse like we did last season. We started off five and one and then finished five or 10 and seven. But yeah, it looks like we have a 76 overall offense, 68 defense, and a 72 overall all around, dude. But I guess all we have to do, sim to midseason. This is a pretty fun part because we get to see how the team does. Okay, we're sitting here at 4-2, and two, but it looks like the division has improved dramatically. That kind of worries me, but we're on pace to make the playoffs. Just need to hand our divisional opponents a couple more losses. And holy crap, it looks like Clark was a superstar. Yo, we drafted this guy in the 7th round. Can you believe that? He fell all the way down the board like that. I don't know what these teams were thinking, bro. Why would you pass on a 6'4 freaking beast of a corner? How are we doing on the year? Christopher Hutchins, five touchdowns to one interception. Very, very weird. I don't know. Are you our guy? I don't. You can't really. It's 57% passing completion, dude. Like, you can run the ball. That's pretty cool. But look at all of these pass catchers I brought you, bro. You got Nick Franklin, who's 6'5. Spencer Rowe, who's a little speedster. And so is Deion Samuel. I mean, what is is going on there defensively McBean and Ty Randolph they're two and a half sacks each one and one interception so we took a look at the stats but I guess uh, all that's left to do is send to the playoffs and hopefully our division continues to not do great it finally happened guys oh my gosh it finally freaking happened we won the division at 11 and 6 but we do play Philadelphia who is 9 and 8 and I'm kind of afraid of the 9 and 8 teams but yo I will take it we're in the playoffs hey we only have to win one game every single week i will take that please guys can we at least advance again to the divisional round and not lose the first round against a nine and eight team please ea okay 20 to or 21 to 10 i will take it we're in the divisional round we need to get to the conference championship we have 11 and 6 Carolina. Their offense looks absolutely insane. Number 10 and their defense. Oh my gosh. The number one ranked defense. Probably because of this stud, Deion Castle, who's an 89 X factor. Our offensive line is going to be in for a very, very rough day. Hopefully our offense can persevere. Please, let's move on to the conference championship. That's what I'm hoping for. And we lose 20 to 10. Oh my gosh. But okay, at least we moved on to round number two. Still some work that needs to be done oh it looks like griffin went up to a superstar i don't know how he did that i didn't know offensive linemen can progress like that but hey i'll take it i'm not going to complain too much defensively looks like nobody else really improved but yeah i think um our linebacking core needs to be addressed and maybe we need to add another edge rusher because this guy's about to walk in free agency i like our secondary again we could just leave it at that Christopher, I mean, 22 touchdowns to six interceptions, picked it up definitely. I did put on a new playbook, so hopefully that will help him. He had a lot more rushing yards as well, 521. And we were spreading the ball out. I like that. We have three receivers that went over 700 yards. And the passing game really started to pick up towards the end of the year. Defensively, McBean, eight and a half. Ty Randolph, six and a half sacks. Interceptions, we really didn't uh, force any turnovers. Don't know how with that secondary. We're here in free agency. And yeah, these guys are still asking for like crazy amounts of money especially the quarterbacks they just keep on going up bro when is that just gonna slow down jeremy bryant looks like we're getting some good uh running backs to start to show up some solid wide receivers so let's just go ahead sim to the draft draft some players maybe if there's a quarterback that falls we draft him dudes what are the chances what are the freaking chances that this guy this top five projected guy falls all the way to 27 where we are sitting at but i don't think we're gonna be end up paying christopher because he's just he's probably gonna ask for like 500 million dollars so we gotta go with this guy he's hidden as well doesn't have that crazy speed but hey listen we got two more seasons if you can develop in your last season into like something like an insane beast bro i will take it might need to get some offensive line that always helps and it always helps out whenever they're hidden as well so let's go ahead this is our second round pick otis wheeler doesn't look bad he's an outside linebacker has elite speed maybe this is the difference maker that we need 86 speed yo how is that elite speed at this position i need like 90 defensive end bryson burns doesn't look too bad he's not a hidden but 
I think we needed one since we let the other guy walk. Danny Long looks to be maybe a crazy middle linebacker. 88 speed hidden development. We will take that. You know what? Another defensive tackle just for depth wouldn't hurt at all. Yeah, he's probably not going to be good, but we need some depth at that position. So draft recap going into our fourth season. Looks like that quarterback says 72 overall. Otis a 67, 69 for the left and 70 for the middle linebacker and 60 for the defensive tackle. So offense is looking like this. Looks like the offensive line is actually coming together. We just kind of need a right guard. Maybe a difference maker at tight end. I like our receivers. Yo, Jack Hepner, you got to step up next year because I don't think we're bringing back Hutchins. Defensively, it looks solid. Maybe like a, just a crazy pass rusher. I think I feel like that's just the missing piece for us. Linebacking core, we did upgrade just a little bit. But again, nothing too crazy on the linebackers. Okay, guys, this is a make it or break it year. I feel like we have to make this like that's the very at the very least our expectations make the playoffs. We have yet to miss the playoffs, but we need to make the playoffs. And look at their quarterback 94 overall superstar. Yo, Hutchins, I wish that was you, my guy. The, the Cardinals look crazy. They're an 81 overall across the board. What did they do? Tank a couple years and just got extremely talented? Whatever. Let's just send to midseason, dude. Wow. We are three and four, but I mean, we're winning the division. However, it just looks like the division has tanked in their last couple of years. I'm not even sure. Maybe these X factors from these other teams from like tanking at the start. It's starting to pay off because right now it looks like these guys are huge difference makers. What is the cap looking like? Reed, 46 million. I will do that. Oh my gosh, 344. Yeah, Aiden or not Aiden, but Christopher. We're not paying you that. McBean, we will pay you that. Kendall, I guess we'll pay you that. We need to try to win the championship. Well, screw it. Let's just go ahead. Sim to the playoffs. Let's see if we can win the division. Okay, and it actually does look like we ended up winning the division at a 10 and 7 record. We're going up against an 8 and 9 team. And you guys always know, these 8 and 9 teams, they're just super dangerous for some reason. Um, but we did have the 19th ranked offense and the second ranked defense. All right, I'll take that for our defensive side of the ball. But uh, let's quickly take a look at these stats. Christopher kind of went downhill. 24 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. I think that's the most turnovers that he's had. Rushing wise, I mean, honestly, the rushing game hasn't been like too crazy what I thought it was going to be. Uh, but we are spreading the ball around. Nick Franklin yet to crack, I think, 1,000 yards. Don't know what is going on there. Ty Randolph like that, McBean like that, that's eight sacks, that's 16 between the two of you guys. We got a little bit more interceptions on the year for this season. 12 for 15, I guess I'll take it. But let's see if we can go ahead and make a generational run, please. Let's win in the first round. Christopher, come up clutch for us. And we do 35 to 14, I'll take it. But can we get past the second round? I swear, this round has haunted us forever. And yo, everybody has like a superstar receiver. We're going up against the 29th ranked offense and the first ranked defense. But we have the second ranked uh, defense. So I think that we should beat them out because our offense is a little bit better. It's ranked 19th. However, 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 we don't know. It's our second round bug. We always just get beat right here. Let's see. Can we finally make it past the second round? And we do. Oh my gosh. Squeeze past by two points. There is an injury. And oh my gosh. Of course. Of freaking course. Whenever we start getting on a roll, this guy goes down. And oh my gosh, that sets it up perfectly. Do we have another Tom Brady? It looks like first time, uh, well, first year rookie, Jake Hepner is going to be stepping in. I mean, Jake or Jack, I, I don't even know what it is. Jack or Jake, I don't know. I don't care. You're going to have to step up because next season, that's your team. So you got to step up. Defense, keep doing your thing, please, guys. Give us a chance here. Give us an absolute chance. Come on, dude. We can win this. We've grown up against Carolina. I think they beat us last year. They're the 24th ranked offense, 7th ranked defense. Come on now, please. Please, guys. They're 9-8. and eight. We're 10-7. and seven. This is for the Super Bowl. We got to go to the Super Bowl. If we can win this, the challenge is over. That's it. Please. And it's an easier video for me to edit. Please. Let's go ahead, Flo. Please, 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 please. Let's win. Let's win this one. And we lose it yet again. Jack, what are you doing, dude? What the flip? 28 to 14. How do you lose by two touchdowns against like the 24th ranked offense? I got to see. How did Jack end up doing, dude? Did you play good? If you played good, then I can't really blame you. But uh, what did I mean? One touchdown, one interception. 
three sacks, 62%. Honestly, didn't play bad. 25 yards though is your longest pass. All right, so this is our last chance to sign these guys. Definitely not signing you, Christopher, even though you're an 85. I wish we could bring you back, dude. But um, let's go ahead, sign Reed Griffin. Let's, uh, I mean, just offer the bag at him, I guess. Come on, man, you gotta, an oh, there we go, finally. You accept that offer. You've got to accept this offer. We might go ahead. If there's any free agents that are crazy good, we might go ahead and do that. Thanks. Okay, we're going to have to use the uh, good old franchise tag on you, bro. Bro, Steon Starks is here? What the crap? Look at this. Uh, look at this class, bro. Look at this class. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe if we can get this guy, bro. If we can get him, that would be huge for us. A big playmaker like this, we're the only team offering, and we brought him in. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, that's huge. That's what we needed. We needed a big pass rusher. Hey, I'll take it. That looks to be our, like our only free agent signing, but yo, that's still, that's very huge. I felt like we need like a big difference maker like that in like uh, whenever, whenever we have like in the playoffs. Time to uh, start drafting. We're here at pick number 30. Let's just sim to our pick. Hopefully like a lot of talent falls to us. Don't really know what we're going to take. We got the quarterback, I guess. We got Jack. Ooh, Patrick Butler, bro. There's a lot of like really good corner. Like look at this corner. He just fell. He looks insane, but I think honestly, we kind of need a running back and this guy might have just fallen to us. Great speed. Let's just go ahead and take him. Hidden, 93. Hey, we lost the tight end. Might as well get another tight end. This one's 84 speed. He could be a backup for us. We will take it. We don't have a third. We do have a fourth round pick. Never know. Maybe our quarterback gets hurt. Let's go ahead and get Austin Taylor. Yeah, that's probably going to be, I don't know if I'm going to show anything because most of these picks aren't going to help us in the long run. Like the sixth round, yeah, we might as well just end the draft. Draft recap. Oh my gosh, this guy's a 76 overall. After that, wasn't too great, but 76 running back? I will take that, bro. This looks like it's going to be our championship squad heading into season at number five. This is our final year. Hopefully this rookie running back can like carry us. Jack, we really need you to go crazy this year. You got the offensive line, honestly, other than like the right guard, but you got it. You got the receivers, Deion Samuel, Nick Franklin, Spencer Rowe, especially the defensive side of the ball. This defensive line looks crazy. The linebacker core has gotten good, especially with this guy. This guy, you better be a beast for us secondary is very nice as well like i said guys super bowl or bust baby we gotta go for it all this year and uh there's not really too much to look at so i guess we might as well sim to uh mid-season point i will see you guys in just one second okay guys um i i don't know how to explain this we're zero and seven I, I honestly, I do not know how to explain this. It, it's got to be Jack. There, there is just no way that it cannot be fucking Jack. Dude, Jack, five, five fucking touchdowns, three interceptions, dude. Are you serious? Are you serious, Jack? What the? I mean, Christopher, what, bro, bro, bro wh what? What is going on here? And yo, you're not doing shit. You, you wanted so much money, you're not doing anything. Dude, I don't even know what happened. How did we fumble the bag? We were making the playoffs every single time. Jack, what? How are you this bad, bro? I took you with my first round pick because I knew, I knew Chris, or what is it, Christopher? I don't even know his name. He wasn't coming back. We finished five and 12. You did a little bit better, but bro, you suck. Oh my goodness. We went all in and we just completely sucked this year 30th in offense bro jack 17 touchdowns 12 interceptions bro is a bust you were projected top five you were projected top five dude no wonder you fell to me at 30 dude travis you had nine sacks and what the hell dude i paid you so much money for four sacks and an interception oh wow that's that's unbelievable bro unbelievable well I mean, I don't know. I guess, I guess that's it. I guess that is it for this challenge. I ended up losing. However, again, that's going to be the challenge for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And hey, I'd like to see you guys uh, attempt this challenge. Maybe even see some other YouTubers attempt this challenge. But again, I'll show it to you guys on screen. It's the NFL reset. That's what you have to type in to get these rosters. Fun little challenge. Everybody's a zero overall. The money is a bit of an issue. However, it's kind of unique, bro. I haven't really seen anybody else do this. But again, hopefully you guys enjoyed and another shameless 
plugin. I am doing like a user franchise experiment with this. So we're in the middle of our first season. I make the draft classes. It's kind of fun. We still have some teams that need to be filled. Or if you guys just want to stop by and see how it's going, you guys can. It's Taunt Live. I will probably have it pinned to the uh, top of the comment section. So you can go check it out there. But yeah, I'll just let you guys go. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you all in the next one. Uh, peace.